Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. I said that, you know, if you're not soiling the adult nappy, it must just all be about the confidence. Oh, hello, and welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Um, I've got a review of adult nappies. Oh, Celebrity good. adult nappies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, no, I've got some information. I've got a story on uh, drag queens. Hmm. Well, on the screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. Cud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have commented on any of our social media posts scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike in the buzz. <laughs> gifts. What unexpected gifts. Have you ever been given an unexpected gift? Um, a few times, yes. Yeah, what, like what? Just things. Just things. Some like, some things are nice. Some things you don't really want. Like, you know, things and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, the first story I have is about a gentleman who's returned home to find an unexpected gift on his doorstep. Is it a human turd? No. 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 It was a pineapple. Oh, okay. Someone dropped a pineapple off at his doorstep. It means something though, that doesn't it? It does. So what he thought was, he's going, oh. It might be people about to burgle me. So, yeah, some people have had like, stories about leaving things in car tyres, like white stones in car tyres, to see if your car's moved, see if you're home. So it's oh, OK. So he thought maybe someone leaving the pineapple on there is just to see if I'm going to come home and shift the pineapple. So he went out, lit, brought it in. A random drive-by fruiting. Like a random drive-by fruiting. Yes, that's a Mrs. Doubtfire reference that you didn't think I'd pick up on. <laughs> oh, it was a drive-by fruiting. <laughs> well, that accent was from us, sorry. Uh, <laughs> did a Lee on the accents there. <laughs> or Jamaican. Um, no, but basically, it's just a sign of swingers. Okay, so a pineapple right way up says that you can come and swing at my place. Come on in, everyone's welcome sort of thing. And upside down means you're looking for people to come and swing. Right. Okay. Um, so he's suddenly realised that, oh no, it means people are going to come around my house expecting to get a okay. Right. A little bit panicked because he's just moved in. His neighbours might be swingers or they might think he's a swinger. I mean, there's easier ways of just put a note through the letterbox. We are swingers. Are you interested? But just put a, a bit of fruit. Bob and, Bob and Marge at number 32. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the neighbourhood. Yeah. Turns out it was just a friend of his who just bought him a, a random pineapple. And just, 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 just left put it on, on the doorstep. Yeah. No note. Uh, left a note as well saying, um, welcome. That's it, welcome to the new house sort of thing. Yeah. Here's a pineapple. Here's a pineapple. But he said, no, my friend admitted to it, often buys me random gifts. Oh, to, 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 as a funny thing. Yeah, yeah. Like a, instead of a personality. Yeah, they just buy each other funny gifts. Oh, okay. Like, like a yeah. potato or something like that. Or pineapple. Oh, okay. Potatoes are different to pineapples? Well, yeah, but, you know, you mix it up a bit. Um, <laughs> people have got too much time on their hands, haven't they? Pretty much. It's just a simple card saying, welcome to your new home would suffice. Yeah. A bottle of booze. Yeah. Did yeah. he eat the pineapple? He did eat the pineapple. Oh. Had a gammon steak Hawaii. Oh, nice. I don't know whether he ate the pineapple. Okay. Sort of thing I'm that interested in. So if, if anybody comes home and finds a pineapple on their doorstep, check with their friends first. Before thinking. Before before thinking, oh I'll be coming to swinger now. Before yeah, before you before opening your legs for the what do they call it when they, No, the um um people in the street Swingers? get together. Hello, hello, keep an eye on things. Neighbourhood watch. Neighbourhood watch, Shame. yes. <laughs> That was it. <laughs> hello, keep an eye on hello, things. Hello, hello, keep Curtain an eye on twitches. things. Can I bum you? That kind of stuff. <laughs> my neighbourhood watch don't offer that. <laughs> I hope Marjorie doesn't start asking that for my neighbourhood watch. Anyway, moving on. This is a story about the fire brigade. Oh, okay. right. Um, and two engines, two engines, mm. eh? or appliances as they're also known. Oh, well, This makes me smile. Yeah. Appliance. They ride an appliance, and I'm thinking, mm. I could be a fireman. Um, and <laughs> I'm thinking of the dishwasher. Mm. Yeah. Or the washing machine. Whatever you call your penis is your own business. <laughs> <laughs> That's called the major disappointment. <laughs> um, but uh, um, to save a, a young person in distress, well, I say young person, I mean a pigeon <laughs> from a poundland. Why? You smiled to start with, and then went, oh. 
What's well, it? it's a pigeon, isn't it? It is a flying rat. Yeah, yeah. it's a flying rat. It'd but have it found its distressed. way off there eventually. It looked distressed. So the the people at the Poundland looked saw the pigeon and went, "Oh, that looks upset." How so can they... you tell if a pigeon's distressed or not? It doesn't have many facial expressions. <laughs> but one of them is distress. It was there going ah. They tell by the level of coo. Or lack of coup? Or lack of coup. <laughs> maybe it was just, maybe a stream of tidal wave of shite was falling out the back end, it was that scared. Um, but yeah, so they phoned the RSPCA. And they went, it's just a flying rat. And they went, oh, it does look a bit distressed, we need to get it down. The only people who got the biggest, <laughs> the only people who got the big enough la um, ladders would be the ambulance, would be the fire brigade. The ambulance men. <laughs> the ambulance men. Because the it was in a wild pigeon <laughs> as well. It was distressed. It, it was it distressed, was... Heart, heart problems. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, so that's, so they brought out the fire engine. They saved the pigeon, but it took two of them. Well done. And how, and how much would that have cost the well, taxpayer they to, to... They don't pay taxes, pigeons. Yeah, but humans do. Okay. Well, and... There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind saving a pigeon's life through my taxes. I do. Okay. Well, I, uh, technically, fire fire engines come out you your council tax, and this was in Stoke, so we've not paid for it. No, but you know, in the scheme of things, it's when it's it taking is. like three days for an ambulance to reach people, I know that's not a fire engine, <laughs> <laughs> but it's slightly. It's different. kind of like really, you can come out straight away to rescue a rancid old pigeon. They didn't, I didn't say straight away. Um, so how long did it take to come out to get the pigeon? A while. It was under the hour, wasn't it? It wasn't far off. Oh my god! <laughs> no, it, it was round the corner from the fire brigade. <sighs> See, it, I would, I would feel. Ragey, aren't you? I, I'm getting a bit <laughs> ragey. I would feel different if it was a different. If it was like, it was a dove. It wasn't a no. They washed it. It turned out it wasn't a pigeon. It was a dove. <laughs> that they, better? Wa they washed it. Now, if it was a cat, no, leave that. If it was a dog. Then, oh, the top of a yeah, but yeah, side. the howl <laughs> with that, that guy in there. Then yeah, or an owl. Okay, an owl. An owl. I would feel much better with not a pigeon. Okay, it was an it was an owl then. Yeah, whatever. But um, if you want saving from the top of a building, don't ask Lee. But to interact with us on social media, it's at the Could TV. That brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, we both have pets. Hmm. You have been known to dress up your dog. Mm -hmm. I have been known to dress up my dog. Mm -hmm. But that's just for just for fun. It is, yes. Yeah, it's not, not for anything nefarious. No. No, no, no. Um, well, this lady in Russia has found a different way of dressing up her cat um, for not pleasant reasons. So, yes, she um, dressed up her pussy as a baby and um, used it to smuggle drugs. <laughs> Not where you thought I was going with that, is it? No. <laughs> um, it's got a tiny little sock on. It's got this got little booties on. Okay. So it's got little booties, little gloves, a little hat. Did she think onesie. that it would fool people? Yes. Um, and she filled the cat with drugs in condoms. Oh, boop. Up its bottom. Yeah. Right. And um, tried to smuggle the drugs into a resort. In the cat, dressed as a baby. There's a lot to unpick there, isn't there? Would you like to start? Well, first off, it's not going to look like a baby. So instantly, <laughs> instantly, Ooh, how hairy your concern your will arise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. if you try to shave it, then possibly beat it. Um, <laughs> you <back> your cat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, what? Have you got all the scratches on your hands? Shave me pussy. Dangerous. <sighs> And then, I can't imagine a cat would sit happily while <laughs> drugs and condoms are stuck up its bottom. Yeah. Is it still with us? Yes. Is it still alive? It's still alive. Yes. So, the, with the, the 30, well, not, I won't even go 30 seconds, the five seconds it took for somebody to go, <laughs> that's, that's a, a cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bloated cat. <laughs> did she, she, how far did she get? Not very far. Not very Not far. Not very far at all. No. How did they, how did they remove the, the, the stuff out of the cat? It tends to remove itself after a while. Oh, okay. Just, if you think about, if you want to remove something from your stomach, it just, you wait. Oh, okay. Has she gone to prison? No, the cat's fine. <laughs> 
I didn't mean the cat. Oh, right, okay. I meant the owner of the cat. Oh, uh, yeah, she's, she's incarcerated at the moment. Okay. She's not kind of dressed, dressed the cat up as a teeny tiny jailer, a guard. <laughs> she has dressed the cat up as a... <laughs> he says I can go! <laughs> as a judge. <laughs> I'm not guilty. Meow. <laughs> See? Um, well, I mean, well, it's animal cruelty. Mm-hmm. One. Yes. Um, and two, it's not very safe. And three, and three that sock doesn't that? go with that cat sock does not go with that top. <laughs> has it got a little beanie on? Yeah, it has got a little hat. Nice. Because otherwise you'd definitely be able to tell yes. that it was a cat. That hat, big, whole change. Just, I mean, a doll would be more convincing. Okay. <laughs> so, less, less putting, I'm not going to go there actually. But yeah, that's all from the buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. That was disturbing in a feline related way. I thought you were about to say the sexy kind of way, but um, coming up next, we have Lee in the showbiz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. Have you ever frequented a Build-A-Bear workshop? Once. I was asked not to go back. Oh. not Because you can record voices onto the mm, bears. You can. Was it an offensive massage? It wasn't. It was just saying, hello, daddy. Oh, OK. But it's, it's cute. Then, yeah. Hello, daddy. Yeah. Not, not just for children. It. Not how I said it. Not oh, just for children. Hello, daddy. OK. That all followed that up with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like oh, OK. Yeah. That's not... Well, OK. <laughs> so, RuPaul, finger... <laughs> finger the bear. Finger in, all, finger in all pies of merch. OK. And no, she has just launched build a, bear. <laughs> a build a bear RuPaul bear. Build a bear RuPaul bear? A RuPaul... <laughs> build a bear. Build a bear. <laughs> drag queen. Um, which, we've got a picture of it here. Um, that's RuPaul, just in case you were wondering in the middle. It's a curly blonde wig. Gold sequin dress, gold pumps, with the Dr RuPaul's Drag Race logo on its paw. And the kind of logo, start your engines, RuPaul Bear is ready to sachet into your collection. Um, the, in, now, in America, they have a Build-A-Bear section for children, uh -huh. and then they have the Bear Cave, which is an 18-plus section of the Build-A-Bear site. Mm -hmm. And that is where Ru RuPaul Bear has gone. Um, right. Because in America they're not they're a bit stupid, aren't they? They kind oh, is of it because you can't be a drag queen for a child. Yeah. yeah. But so let people watch Mrs. Doubtfire as a movie. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you can buy RuPaul Drag Race Bear, which people are snapping up like no tomorrow. But the sort of like the far right in in America has 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 kind of reacted not so good to this. Um, it apparently has immediately caused outrage online with many calling out the business for selling the bear and with amid the growing controversy regarding drag performances around uh, children in the US. <sighs> because, One, yeah, if you lift up that dress, the, there's a massive it shows tuck. you how to tuck. Oh, yeah. It's not anatomically correct. None of the bears no, are. No. Um, so one, one, one person, mm -hmm. I'm going to use that term, uh, called Matt Walsh, um, he said that, absolutely. remember, there's absolutely no agenda to groom your kids. Don't be ridiculous. On an unrelated note, at Builder Bear is selling a drag queen stuffed bear for children. So, however, many people have supported the bear's existence online. We've got, oh no, not a bear in a wig. Wrote one person on Twitter. Um, a teddy bear... It, it's a teddy bear, Matt, said another person. Um, Normalising the diversity of human experience isn't grooming. Parents raising their kids to be as hateful and bigoted as them is grooming, exclaimed one Twitter user. Um, it's a teddy bear. Really. It is a teddy bear. It is a teddy bear. Now, we, I have managed to get hold of one because these are increasing in value massively. Um, Every time you say the words, I've managed to get my hands on, it's always a disappointment. Well, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed, because this genuinely is. You actually got one? I actually oh, have my got one. Because normally it's... Uh, it's just expecting. something I've glued stuff to. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting. Now, she has had a little bit of a makeover. Let me see. Yeah, see? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, OK. She has had a little bit of a makeover, because she's quite plain, I felt. Uh -huh. um, so I kind of judged her up a bit. And yeah, she's she's going to be she's ours 
to 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 kind of be forever. So you've stuck. I've stuck a bit of gold, a bit of embellishing on it. We've got some sequins. I'll give now, her a I can hair. believe you've, you've, you've stuck it on because a bit's just fallen off. off already. <laughs> oh, no. Um, she's got earrings in. Uh, I gave her hair a little bit of a zhuzh because, you know. Um, and we even, we even get a certificate of authenticity that we have adopted a RuPaul bear. Okay. Now, that is now going... Well, not that, because it's ours, but... Other ones that people have bought are going for two hundred pounds on okay. eBay. It's an antique of the future, Mike. Okay, two hundred pounds on eBay. Yes, if that disappears, uh -huh. I'll be, I'll be finding it on eBay for yeah. two hundred pounds. Mm, yeah, if not more. Um, so yeah. yeah, good for RuPaul. Good for drag queens. I want to know more about the X-rated builder bear section. What is in there? Have you not been in one before? No. Oh, they've got harnesses and stuff. And oh, Really? To... I love the X-rated builder bear. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to I should be logging on there momentarily. <laughs> oh. um, anyway, let's go to, a, to news about another drag queen. Okay. In particular, Jinx Monsoon. Love Jinx Monsoon. So she made history earlier this year with her Broadway debut in Chicago. Mm -hmm. After winning RuPaul's Drag Race twice, season five, and the All Winners All Stars. Yep. She has announced that she is set to have a major role in the new series of Doctor Who. Did you not know this? Are you going to tell me about a spoiler now? Knowing no. how I feel about Doctor Who spoilers. It's, there's no details, no specific details. So she made an announcement on her social media saying, I'm honoured, thrilled and utterly excited to join Doctor Who. So she's posted a picture of her character. So the picture in the middle, but you don't know what a character is. It's something musical from that outfit. Well, that's her as Jinx in the middle. Uh -huh. And then the two either side uh, of her character. Um, they, that's as much information as they've given. Mm. They've not given name, characterization. Well, no, I don't that's think she's going to call Jinx Monsoon in the, <laughs> the programme. Okay. Um, Russell T. Davis, so she says, Russell T. Davis is a visionary and a brilliant writer. I can't he wait is. to get into the weeds with him and the crew. I think that might be a little spoiler. Um, I hope no, there's no, room. Getting into the weeds means getting into it. Oh, it's does it? A, it's a lovey thing. Oh, is it a lovey thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it has a, they put a little bit of a video. Um, didn't give any other details away. Okay, I'm Jinx good. Monsoon and this is my costume for Doctor Who, she said, while laughing at the camera. Cool. So um, that's all you're going to show. You're not going to show me anything No more. We don't doctor. know any more else. Well, I'm going to show the pictures of the new Doctor. Because everyone knows who the new Doctor is. I don't is. know who it is, but I don't know what they're going to look like. I don't oh. know they're going to look like, but... You're gonna, well, now you know. Sorry. We have a rule about spoilers. You're allowed to spoil... But it's just a photo. Place. But instantly... So we've got Nakuti Gatwa. Fit who is going to be the new Doctor. Coronation Street star Millie Gibson is going to be his companion called Ruby Sunday. Okay. I don't watch Coronation Street, so I don't really know what thing she's played. It's going to be coming back in November with three special episodes. Because with the Dave, the anniversary. Dave Tennant's reprising his role as the 14th Doctor, and it will coincide with the 60th anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, and that's about as much... So it, as you're going to tell me. As I'm now you, now that's all, what he's going to look like. But you don't know the context. I don't care. See, it looks a bit 60s. That's the third Doctor I now find sexually attractive. Well, you're only human, aren't you? I don't watch Doctor Who, really. Um, I'm predicting oh, Cybermen. Right. I'm predicting... Daleks, because they they have to contractually to have them in every uh, they don't. season. They don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah. No, they don't. There's a clause that says. There's not. God, I was talking to a Doctor Who geek, but I bet you there's a Cyberman in it. Probably will be a Cyberman, and a Dalek. They're not contractually obliged. Okay. <laughs> so that's something to look forward to for the end of the year. Yeah. Good. Good. Good news. Mm. Good news. Spoilers. Lovely. Spoilers. Well, not massive spoilers, but kind of. Is it not it, kind of wet your appetite? No. Okay. I, I like. Well, we've had this conversation before. I like the entire immersive everything new. I avoid adverts. When it's like you, you hear the dumb and you see the Doctor Who thing, I mute the TV and look away. You're special, aren't you? Yes. Okay. I have three pleasures in life. One of them is Doctor Who. Mm. Other one's drinking and masturbation. I thought the other two were jerking off to Doctor Who. No, no, no. Watch no. it first. And like then afterwards. jerk off. Okay. Afterwards. Afterwards, when you've read, listened to the story. And well, so. well watched all the way through. Then you crack one out. Those are the sexy bits I need to hone back in on. Okay. Oh, no, it's all in my mind. Oh, okay. I think we need to move on. Um, very sadly, recently, Paul O'Grady 
entertainer died. Mm -hmm. um, and funeral last week. Funeral was last week. Lots of celebrities attended. There was a thing written into into the funeral where he requested. So his husband said to people, "This is a private service, mm -hmm. but Paul would have would love if you want to line the streets of the the village that they live with your dogs." Mm -hmm. So that was a huge thing. Um, what's happened is is that people are calling for a statue to be made okay. in his likeness in the, his actual original hometown. So we've got pictures of, this is kind of Paul through the year. We've got Lily Savage, as obviously a people knew in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Then he did the, the programme with the dogs. And then before he died, he was, he was Miss Hannigan in Annie, a mm -hmm. production of Annie. Um, so an appeal has been set up by, um, uh, by a fan um, online asking people to, to sign it so that the amount of numbers could possibly lead to a statue. So the, the gentleman's called Kieran Gabriel, okay. um, who was a big Lilith Savage uh, fan and said, I would love a statue. Um, so so um, these are some of the statues that are already in Liverpool. Okay. Now, he didn't come from Liverpool. He was always very clear, I, I come from Birkenhead, when yeah. the people said I come from Liverpool. But we've got his friend, Scylla. Uh -huh. she's, she's, in, dead. She, she's dead and now she's yeah. a statue. Uh, we've got John Lennon. Also dead. Also dead. And that's him with the statue of his little dog, Buster. If you remember, he had that little dog that mm -hmm. used to go everywhere with him. Yeah. Um, so this gentleman said, Paul has left a huge legacy in his trailblazing work as a drag artist, social and political causes, LGBTQ rights, and of course his love of, love of animals. So it's going to Wirral Council, mm -hmm. who have got to kind of weigh up the cost of what it would be. Um, okay. And who knows? So if, if, viewers, you would like to see a statue of, of Paul O'Grady, mm -hmm. um, log onto the website and say, I want to. Well, that's the end of this week's Showbiz News. Well, stick around, because coming up next, we have our Game of the Week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud, and this week we're going to play Lazy Susan's Question Roulette. And this one is for Lee. So off you meander. Okay. Watch your head. Game of the week. So Lee's got a lazy Susan. He's going to give it a spin and then we're going to find out a question and go from there. Yes. I shall, I shall spin it now, this very moment. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, are we, we're going to go 90s. Are we? Yeah. AK, don't want to hum that tune. So that would be the yellow card. The yellow card. The yellow card. Okay, we'll, we'll have the yellow card. Which sweet, so this is music, which Swedish rock band had a hit in 1996 with Love Fool? That would be the Jumpers. Pullovers. Sweaters. Give the sensible answer. Hoodies. The... Ponchos. It's not only my time you're wasting, Mike, it's the viewer's time as well. Okay. Well, what's the answer then? The cardigans. I was almost there. As well you knew. Outrageous. I shall spin again. What did you just call me? Outrageous. Outrageous, okay. Okay, let's go for this one, which is... More music, rock and pop. Okay. Nice to meet ya was released in 2019 by which former member of One Direction? Nice to meet you, meet you nice. Nice to meet ya. Meet you nice. Might be how he said it. It's, um, what's his face? With the chin. Bruce Forsyth. With the chin? Yeah. No, nice not the one that's had the, the nice. not, not the one that's had the handsome squid work, Squidworth work done recently. Okay, um. Nice to meet you. One Direction. Yeah, but which one of One Direction? What's his face? So you've got Zane. The tattooed one okay. who left. Then you've got Harry, who likes a blouse, um, and then you've got Handsome Squidsworth, 
who had a baby with Gerald Cole. And called him Bear. And called him Bear Grills. And then they've got another one who is who is nice to meet you. Yeah, what's his name? You named all the other ones. I'm not telling you because that would be, the, be the then I would then. be giving you the answer. The, not the ones you've mentioned, the other one. Is there another one? I don't know. Is there five or four? One, two, three, four. Da, da, da. Oh, there might have been four. Or f I can't remember. No, no, there's another one, isn't there? There's another one. But I don't know his name either. What's the name you've got in the card? Niall Horan. That's my answer. He's, 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 he's matured into an attractive young man. Ooh, that sounded creepy. I was going to say, uh, are you bashing one out over One Direction? <laughs> you are, aren't you? No, I'm not bashing one out over them. He's, I can just say that he has matured into a, to an attractive young man. That you've bashed one out over. <laughs> Punch double. <laughs> this is soundtracks. <laughs> Have you hunched double? <laughs> <laughs> What song did Jennifer Garner's character dance to in 13 Going On 30? Um, Edelweiss. <laughs> no, this is a very niche question, because... I don't, I, I don't understand any of the words that came out of your mouth. So Jennifer again. Garner, an actress, uh. was married to <laughs> Ben Affleck. Okay, so... One of the 17,000 mm. married to Ben Affleck. The film 13 Going On 30 was the kind of a female version of Big, where a young girl wishes that she was old and wakes up and she's 30. I've never seen it. I'm not its demographic. Um, you're not going to get it. bash your one out of one direction. <laughs> um, Thriller by Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, another rock and pop one. Oh, that you must get this one. Who had the 2008 hit Chasing Pavements? I can see them. What's his face? Oh. Got that Duffy. No. no. Duffy. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not, Mike. You say just saying it is isn't going to make it be was it, then? the answer that you want. Do you not want to have another guess? She was a big right. lady, and so now she's the not thing so is, much. You've just you've just looked at the card again. Yes. Right. So you couldn't remember the person's name. No, I had to double check. You had to double check the person. Well, what I'd read originally was what I'd read. But you're judging me for not knowing the answer. Yes. And you've just read the answer and didn't know but it. But I knew what the answer was. But you had to double check because you got it wrong. <sighs> Who was it then? It was Adele, Mike. Oh, right, okay. Duffy. Right, hum that tune. Oh, no, you crap at this one. Okay, I think you might get this one. <laughs> Are the gallery humming along with me as well? <laughs> the gallery are mocking you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, um, can you can does that ring familiar? No. <laughs> your face <laughs> I think it's quite evident what it is. No. Um, Living the Vida Loca. No, it's it's Get the Party Started by Pink. How the hell was that? I'm coming oh, out, so you better okay. get the party started. See? It was the same. Yeah, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Party started. <laughs> get the party started on a Saturday night. Let's, well, let's have soundtracks. 
<clears throat> oh. 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 Which composer worked on Gladiator, Pirates of the Caribbean, and The Dark Knight? Um, Rachmaninoff. No. Um, Mozart. No, he's dead, you fool. Beethoven. No. I don't think you would get it. I wouldn't get it. Hans, Terry Gold. Hans Zimmer. Christian Adelson. Hans Zimmer. Hans Could Zimmer. Let's guess. Yeah, whatever. Spin it again. Fuck a bar. In Carly Ray Jepsen's Call Me Maybe, what line comes after, hey, I just met you and this is crazy? Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, so here's a condom, so f*** me, baby. Oh, that's disgusting. It's hard to look right at you, baby. Here's a condom, so f*** me, baby. All that came into my eyes, I want you so bad, get you so bad. They're not the lyrics? No, mind. Yeah, when I sing it. Yeah, no, and I bet you do in your in your little car. <laughs> I do. It's all in public, or on karaoke. <laughs> you, you you mockingly sort of talk about the size of my car, and it's quite small. Um, but you get more space in my car because it's not filled with Care Bears. Unlike some people. I don't. I'm fully on board with that. I accept. I know it. you are because your I, car is nothing but Care Bears. Let's 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 spin. Let's spin. Let's not. Let's finish. Oh well. Do, do you let's want to end know? on a high, shall we? Yeah. Why not? Um, um, so it wasn't put a condom on and my bum or whatever it is he said. Okay, um, it's a condom, so me, baby. It is. I just met you and this is crazy, but here's my number. Call me, baby. Maybe. Call me, baby. <laughs> maybe. Enough now. Oh, let's spin. But um, coming up after the break, it's time for what one person called, Oh dear Lord, what the God. It's crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time we liaise with the most creative of all monarch. It's Lee in Crafty Queens. A monarch, how lovely. The crafty queens. Yeah, I got it. I got that reference. Yeah. You are you interested in in the the coronation? I mean, get a day off. Get a day off. Get a day off. Um, well, we're not doing anything to do with the monarchy today or the coronation. I just thought oh. I'd drop it into conversation. You oh. know, general chit chat. Um, today we're going to make something. Well, um, quite frankly, it's a pile of shite, but. We've got a segment to fill, so we're and gonna. It's craft the queen, so we would expect you know, it to be shite. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a diorama, Mike, today. Oh, so you need you need a nappy, not diarrhea, a diorama. Okay. Very uh, popular in the Victorian age, where they used to put stuff in glass jars and put them on this mantelpiece. Like That's what heads, we're gonna do. Hearts and stuff. Yeah. yeah, squirrels and hedgehogs and <laughs> little ones' ones. fingers. Wood mice. Um, so, <laughs> before you, you have a glass receptacle. Uh huh. What I would like you to do is to unscrew the top from your glass receptacle and place it in front of you, but with the base on the table so that the inside of the lid is facing up towards you. Right, okay. So, do I, I'm not putting stuff inside the, 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 the jar, I'm putting it inside no, the lid. it's going to go be inside the lid, yeah. Okay, so, so I'll, pop, you, jar. You, you I'll can pop my jar away for a jar bit then. to one side for a moment. So, you're going to... Um, oh. oh, a little butterfly. Oh. Ah. Um, you've got green uh, uh -huh. dough, yeah. clay. You're going to make a base inside the lid. Got to kind of spread it out. All right, okay, spread it out. To, to kind of... Release the flavour? Really, yes. Although you must not eat this because it is not. Edible. Is it not edible? No. Ah. It's non-toxic, but I wouldn't advise you to eat it. You kind of need to spread it out. It is spread out. Just get your just get your um the glass jar and just see if the lid will go back on it. 
Just, yeah, just, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Happy now? Yeah. Yeah, right. You've got a selection of old dry twigs. I do indeed. Yeah. Now you're going to, you don't want, you're not going to use all of them. Okay. Choose the ones that you like the most. I would go for a variety. <laughs> Because <laughs> it is a it is a big decision. Yeah. But they're so different. They are so different. You can snap you can snap them off if you want to create smaller or bigger. Okay. And I'm just going to insert them, yeah? Yeah, just insert them till they touch the bottom of the lid. Okay. I like it when things touch the bottom. Oh, I'm quite happy with my arrangement of twigs. Right, so there you go. I've got a bunch of dry sh <laughs> stuck in some stuff. Right. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna. That looks it looks a bit barren, doesn't it? It looks a bit 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 like my heart. Yeah, a bit desolate. So we're, we're gonna make desolate. some desolate. Desolate. We're gonna make some lovely flowers to go on them. Oh, lovely. So you have some white clay. I do have some white clay. So what I want you to do is take a little bit of the white clay uh -huh. and roll it into a ball, a very large ball. Yeah. Um, so you're going to choose choose the colour that you want to use first. Okay. I'm going to use the, um, the, the fuchsia, and you want to make five little balls of equal size. It's quite therapy. It's quite calming. Uh, do you not think this this no? Yeah. No. Little tiny balls. How many of these? What five? Five. Right, so when you've got five little balls... I've got five little balls. Take your white ball... Yep. And then you're going to place the balls round the circumference of the white bit. Okay. Well, in my case, it's yellow. Like that. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's have a look. Yes! Yeah. And then what you're going to do is with your thumb and finger, just flatten it a little bit. And that's going to create a flower shape. Of course it does. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to stick it... Up your ass. ...onto the top of one of your sticks. And kind of... F ..fold it around the... OK, like that. Uh, like that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's with the judgment noises? Well, you know, it's, you know, yeah, do it like that. So then you repeat the process with other colours. Oh, OK. Because everybody knows in nature, flowers of different colours grow on the same plant. Well, they do. Some do. Do they? Daisies. No. Pansies. Different plants. I was getting the <laughs> gallery just going off on some old gay rant from some uh, the old film. Yes. Yeah, my peony. They're marigolds, you old queen. <gasps> She's right. They are marigolds. I may not know my flowers, but I know a bitch when I see one. <laughs> what film is this from? It's from, oh, I can never remember the name of it, but it's people pretending to be gay to get out of being in the armed services. Oh, okay. Is it like an old person's film? It is, which is why I'm surprised you don't know it. <laughs> How many times do I have to do this monstrosity? As, as many as you feel that you would like to. I mean, Zero. obviously you don't just want one flower. Why not? I mean, now you have got green, so if you want to create some foliage. I've got foliage, it's that it's brown. It's dead foliage, but it's foliage. So I've got, I've got one, two. I'm gonna do another one. Okay. Quite relaxing, very gentle. There we go, a little, little pink one. You ch have, what is the reason why you've chosen to keep the dead brown leaves on? Because it's... It's foliage. 
You told me to put sticks in. You didn't say, don't use the ones with the foliage. Why did you give me ones with dead brown leaves on if you didn't want me to use them? It's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go with three flowers, I think, and a butterfly, because I have provided you with a with a little butterfly. So do you know butterfly is one of the words to tell how, how difficult a language is? Butterfly? Butterfly. What, in another language? Yeah, so if you think about uh, butterfly in, in French, it's papillon. Papillon. Right? And in English it's butterfly, and in Germany it's deschmetteling. Is it actually deschmetteling? Deschmetteling, yeah, yeah. The flower is too heavy for its stick. Right, I've, I've done. You done? I'm done. Where would you like to place your um, your butterfly? There you go. It's attached. Let me see. I can't see it. It's there. Oh yes, it is. I'm just going to attach mine with a, with a little adhesive. That's the second. Um, it is the this second. This is reference. reference. <laughs> will be banned in America now. Referring people dressed as an agenda to which they were not assigned at birth. So, Have them up uh, in arms. when when you're happy with your little diorama, is a strong word, but yeah, yeah. You take your glass jar, mm -hmm. and then gently encapsulate them into the jar. Secure the lid, and you will have just a load of crap inside a jar, but it looks nice. Does it even look nice? It's like a little bit of nature inside. Nothing like nature. Look at that beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, then, lovely. Say beautiful. Lovely. Um, and there we go. As always, if you make one, nobody's ever made anything that we've shown on this No, show. no, no, I've, I've, I've had letters in. Have you? Yes. Saying, please stop. Someone, someone once made a bowl out of a bowl. Did they? Mm. Was it successful? Yeah, because they just basically sent a picture of a bowl. Okay. Well, if you do make one, show us on social media, send us a picture. And remember, if you can't get any... Peen or any vagine. Yes, any of that, any peen, I need to say cock, any peen. <laughs> can't get any <laughs> cuff, <laughs> do some of this. Yeah. Another success, I think you'll agree. Don't think I will agree. There's only there's only so much I can do, Mike. Better is obviously something you can't do. Well, well, I think anything that is a step up from a bowl from a bowl is a success. Well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.